Hi everyone, my name is Rahil Shah and I'm a computing student at Imperial College London. Today, I will be giving you some tips on how to tackle the application interview. The application interview usually lasts around 30 minutes and is an opportunity for a member of the, the computing department to get to know you in person as well as to assess your ability to problem solve. I know this may sound quite generic, but it is nonetheless important. Usually about half the time of your interview is spent talking about topics and achievements that you have mentioned in your personal statement. And from the interviewer's perspective, this makes a lot of sense. To gauge, gauge an idea of who you are, they only have the statement to go off. That's why it's really important that you're able to talk about ideas and topics which you've mentioned in your personal statement. Not only this, but expand upon these as well. The other half of the interview will be you presented with a problem, followed by you trying to approach the problem to solve it and get to some answer. That's why it's really important to be able to think logically and solve problems while speaking to a member of staff as you do this. There are two main benefits to this practice. One, you can practice your ability to think logically and solve problems. Two, more importantly, it, it you, uh, you are able to practice your ability to think and speak about your thought process. This is really important because the interviewer cares less about the answer that you get to and more about how you got there. The interviewer needs to see the steps that you're taking, even if they're not necessarily going towards the right, the right direction and getting towards the right answer. Doing mock interviews are a really good way of practicing this ability. The type of questions that you get will be depending on, dependent on the experience that you claim to have in your personal statement. For example, if you claim to have lots of years of programming experience, you can expect your questions to be more programming based. For example, write a pseudocode algorithm for X problem. However, if you don't have any, any programming experience or very little, and more importantly, if this, if this is reflected in your personal statement, then don't feel the pressure to suddenly become a programming expert. This is because the questions you'll receive will more be logic-based, for example. While this isn't a hard truth, it's important to understand that your interviewer will try to tailor your questions to the experience that you claim to have. So don't feel the pressure to go out above and beyond. One of the key things that the interviewer wants to see from you is that you're curious and interested about not only the subject, but learning at Imperial College London. A great way to show this is asking questions at the end of the interviewer, which, you sh which time should be left for. However, there are two points which I'd like to mention about this. The first is that be aware of the questions that you're asking and how they fit into the conversation. At the end of the day, the interview is just a conversation and people ask different questions for different reasons. For example, you may want to ask questions like the learning experience at Imperial or the Department of Computing or a topic which was brought up earlier in the interview. These are good questions to ask because they show that you're interested about learning at uh, Imperial and the Department of Computing, but they are also they also naturally fit into the conversation that you're having. This is really important. The second point I like to raise is don't feel like you need to prepare every single one of your questions. And that, now I know preparing for questions is something which people thrive off and is really important for people. But don't be afraid to ask questions about things which have been brought up earlier in the interview. For example, say your interviewer brings up their area of research and this is something you want to find out more about. This is a great question to ask them at the end of the interview. Not only does this show curiosity, but your ability to ask questions about something earlier in the interview shows that you are actively engaging in this conversation that you're having, which overall leads to a better first impression. And those are my main tips for the interview. If your interview is approaching, I wish you the best of luck for the experience. Thank you for considering computing at Imperial and we hope to see you soon.